So in today's video, I'm gonna show you a great drill for the perfect takeaway in your golf swing. Right, so I think with the golf swing, there can be a bit of confusion really as to kind of what's takeaway, what's backswing, kind of what's transition, downswing, impact, follow through. So for me, let's clarify first of all what takeaway is. Now, particularly if you look from kind of down the line here, I think your takeaway is certainly probably the first two, three feet that the club head moves away from the golf ball at an absolute push, getting the club to about waist height is takeaway. And then from there, it's a bit more kind of backswing. So I mentioned at the start about this being the perfect takeaway. If I'm being perfectly honest, I don't think there is a perfect takeaway. And I think there's a lot of different ways of doing it. But if you can be more neutral with your takeaway, there's less compensations needed in the backswing, in the transition, and then down into impact. So what are the characteristics that we generally see with golfers? So the first characteristic that I would generally see with golfers in the takeaway is that the club starts to get too much behind them, the hands kind of work out, and then as the club works behind, they have to lift. So that would be the first one with the club kind of working behind and the hands going away from the body. The more opposite end of the scale would tend to be where they get the club working away and up too much. The club gets very, very steep on the way back, and then again, it's a case of rerouting from there. So I think a great little part of your takeaway is actually just to understand how the, kind of how the butt end of the club moves. So I'm going to put a little yellow T just into the end of the grip. Now you guys could do the same or you could just focus on it, but it'll be a bit more visual for the video. So at address, I would say that that T points pretty much at my belt buckle. Now, what I'm going to do is if you look at kind of those two instances that I spoke about, if the club works behind very quickly, straight away, even from there, we can see that T's pointing over in front of my body. If I were to go the other way, the T is pointing kind of down towards the ground very, very quickly. So I want you to imagine that that T, as we start our backswing and I have our takeaway, is gonna stay pointing very much at my belt buckle or certainly the line that my belt is on. So take your right hand off to begin with when you do this and just get that little feel as as you work away, that T is looking at my belt buckle. So certainly as I get back to about waist height, it might just be starting to work along my belt a little bit. So that feels, even for me, that feels a little bit different if I'm being honest. So my tendency with the golf swing would be that's already outside. And I can feel there that the, the clubs try to go behind my hands quite quickly. And that, that's always been my issue with takeaway. So if I get there, feel it with just the left hand, that feels really, really good. Feels like my body kind of turns a little, maybe a little bit earlier and that club face stays in a slightly stronger position. So what we'd be looking for then is pop both hands on, get that same feeling. Now that's a great little reference point if you wanted. So you'd have the club shaft running on a very, very similar line to my feet. The club face or the leading edge there is very much at the same angle as my spine angle. And if you were to look face on and I did that, There's lots and lots of width still in that initial part of the takeaway. So we're not very narrow. We're not trying to be stretched that way. We're just letting that T feel that it looks down at my belt buckle more. And then from there, all I've got to do is just keep turning my right arm folds. And that gives me that nice big turn at the top of my backswing. And like I said, it's definitely a, an issue with me that when I get there, get my normal movement, and maybe a little bit narrow there. There's decent width at the top, but I don't get a lot of body turn. Whereas if I feel I work on that a little bit more, keep that looking at my belt buckle, I feel there's a much, much bigger shoulder turn, hip turn. 
So there should be a little bit more power in there. Now, I think even for me, even though it's only a little change, it feels quite big. So don't worry if the first few shots you hit aren't great. And I would even say I would hit some shots just with that little part of the takeaway. Lost my tea. back in there so a little waist height to waist height swing nice and straight it does feel different and if I'm being honest it's my little waggle that I hate in my golf swing I get there and I do it all the time do it on all my shots I do that and you can see when I do that quickly how that T would work over there, whereas I'd love my initial takeaway to be a bit more that way. So once I've done a few of those short swings, build into a little bit more length in the back swing, but maybe don't have full speed in there and really focus on that takeaway. That felt superb. Straight at the target, a little friendly bounce about six foot maybe I should just do that every time so then that probably fell maybe 70 80 percent of my normal speed but let's do another one of those so that was good that felt very controlled and then work up if we can into that full speed And see that one again, didn't quite get back. Let's just go one more. T's trying to escape from the top of the club again. So definitely for me, feels that my arms are a little bit less involved and certainly my hands and wrists less involved in that first part of the takeaway. But keeping that T looking at my belt buckle makes it much more simple. And it really feels like there's not too much could go wrong. Oh, nearly slam dunked it. And if you can do that, maybe not the perfect takeaway, but certainly a more simple takeaway, which should make the rest of the swing much easier to repeat. So guys, hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, like it and share it. Comment below and I'll get back to as many people as I can. If you have enjoyed today's content and you don't currently subscribe, please consider clicking the button below. Remember to ring that notification bell and then you'll find out whenever I drop a new video. Follow me on all my social media platforms, all under Ali Taylor Golf. Hopefully catch up with some of you guys down here soon. Stay in contact.